start to focus on living instead of just constantly being in that life grind. Hey guys, I am back from my momcation with my childhood BFF to solving. It was honestly exactly what I needed, but I do think I should have done the third day because I really, I wasn't ready for the vacation to end. The cool thing though is that I didn't notice this before, probably because the last time I was in Solvang was um, after Kaya passed away. We didn't have any children, so I didn't notice just how accommodating Solvang is to children. So I think I would be totally comfortable bringing the kids out there for another vacation, like with the family at some point. My childhood BFF and I have so much in common. I think that's why we were so drawn to each other when we were 12. I won't get into all the details of why we have so much in common, but let's just say like it was really fun to talk to somebody about the different tasting notes of wine. And then also she and I both collect perfume, so we love talking about the different scents and everything that, that we smell in perfumes. So we were trying really hard to find a perfumery. We did not find one, however, but there was um, something called the Mystical Merchant where we did find some more like natural, like roll-on oil perfumes. And we did grab something for our collection from there. It was just overall really fun to do something girly and to have that sort of um, back and forth and to understand everything that we were saying to each other in regards to the different tasting notes and, and scents and everything, you know, mouthfeel and all that. It was just really, I need to do it again. Cameron and I always joke, there's a Sarah Anderson comic where it's like, there's two types of wine people. One of them's like, oh, all of these different flavor profiles. And the other one's like, yep, this wine tastes like wine. We always joke that Cameron's the, yep, it's this wine tastes like wine kind of person, but that can be fun too. But there's nothing quite like sharing an experience with a friend who has so many similar special interests as you and you just get it. Like you just get each other in that way. It was really great. But of course I do. I do think that third day would have made it so much better. But my friend did invite me up to Washington to go wine tasting with her and her mother at some point in the next couple of years. So I think maybe that's maybe that's the time I'll do like three, three whole days. Of course, I did not come back empty handed. These are some wines that I chose from a few of my favorite wine tasting rooms. This Cobb Franc was probably one of the most special wines that I tasted while I was there. And I know a lot of like the, the flavor profiles and everything do sound kind of like BS, but I really did taste the dark chocolate. And then there was like this smoky sage flavor that lingered in your mouth afterwards. Totally unexpected, but very special. I did get two bottles of those and Cameron and I had one last night. Not typically a rosé type person, but I actually got quite a few rosés. Of course, you know, I had to add to my mug collection. I found this keychain that I want to turn into a Christmas ornament for the tree. The perfume oil that I got, which is like a honey almond scent. And then I found a little children's store, which I hadn't noticed before. I don't know if it's new or if I just didn't notice it before. This is the fifth time I've been to Solvang, and this is the first time while having kids at home. It's a little boutique called Atadag Kids. It was a nickname for a king. I'm forgetting the name of the king, but it was a nickname for him. I think the words like directly translated from Danish mean day again, and he was like a, um, a breath of fresh air for the Danish people after having a long period of not so good kings. So this area has, you know, like Atadag Inn, they have Atadag Village, and then Atadag Kids. They had a lot of Mary Meyer toys and I collect those for the kids, but I didn't have this one, so I decided to grab that for Thora. I got these little wooden toys for Kieran. They're um, hanging out at a campfire, apparently. Just thought they were so pretty and well-made. They had so many of them but they're a little bit expensive, so I only got these three. But Kieran absolutely loved these the second I pulled them out yesterday. He's been playing with them ever since. So apparently all I had to do to get to cool down in our areas to just leave 
And then I came back and we have a cool front coming through. So it is going to be glorious in the 70s this week. But I think but I think by the time we reach this coming weekend, it is going to be getting back into the 80s again and, you know, 80s, 90s thereafter. So I really want to try to get our pumpkin patch photos done this week, if possible. These are the outfits that I picked out for our pumpkin patch photos. Cam's blue shirt is going to coordinate with the blue in the kids' outfits. And I was going to do this yellow gingham. However, it is a little tight up here still, and I don't like how that looks. So I might pair it with a little sweater over top that also has, you know, little bits of blue in it. I tried that dress on, and I was just trying to imagine the photos. And at some point, I felt like, man, I don't even want to be in the photos. I don't like how I look. But I really thought about the fact that my mother did not like to be in photos herself, so there are not that many photos of her. And that makes all of us really sad as adult children that we don't have that many photos of our mother. So I want to put away my insecurities and my vanity and just do the damn photos with my kids so they can have something to look at when I'm gone, you know? I just think it'll look really cute at a pumpkin patch. So that's what I wanna do this week, I wanna get pumpkin patch photos, pick up some pumpkins that we're gonna carve for Halloween, and then some extra, you know, the little pretty pumpkins they have at Trader Joe's, the, the unusual looking ones. I wanna grab some of those this week. Kinda thinking maybe a pumpkin between each potted plant would be really cute. Cam did set up these little jack-o'-lanterns, which are adorable at night. I'll have to show you guys that. What else is going on this week? Oh, Thor is gonna be five months old on, I think, Thursday. She has learned how to roll from back to front. Girlfriend is just eager to do all the things, and I don't know if I'm ready, honestly. It's it's too soon. I am watching her watch Kieran, and it's like she wants to get up and go do stuff that he's doing, even though she physically can't do it right now. You can just see, like, she has this awareness <laughs> And I'm, I'm guessing that's a, a thing that subsequent children have after the first one that comes home, you know. I definitely didn't notice that in Kieran before. She's determined. Kieran, what are you doing, buddy? You guys, I don't know what to do because he figured out how to open doors not too long ago, but it was like he was pushing the door that he was opening. And we didn't dare show him that you pull it. So now when he goes down for his nap, he he just opens his door and comes out now and then he also figured out the baby gates so yeah nap time has been a bit of a challenge over here i did i did just take him up for his nap he's having a grand old time just walking right out of his room i hear him pounding on the washing machine brb he literally just ran out of the laundry room and opened my bedroom door and ran in here what am i gonna do cameron said that this started all this weekend while i was gone so, any baby proofing tips? Greatly needed. I just put him back in his clothes and brought him back downstairs. Because we're kind of in that spot where it's like, is he going to drop naps or is he going to keep having naps? And I don't think we're quite ready to drop the nap, but we're getting there. Cameron and I both have post-vacation blues. And that might not make sense because he didn't go on the vacation with me. However... He made the conscious decision over the weekend to have nothing to do with work. Everything got set to the side. He didn't answer phone calls. He didn't answer requests. He just took the entire weekend to spend with the kids. And it was really, really good for him. And though today is, you know, still a federal holiday, he is out at the property right now inspecting some things. And we are going back into the grind. He'll be going back to work. I'll be going back to managing the household and everything. And we both tend to get like these post vacation blues or post post holiday blues even. I think that really is a symptom of the fact that we don't live enough. We work and we work and we work and we manage households and we're constantly in a grind and we don't take enough time off to have fun. And that's something that I want to change because it shouldn't feel depressing to come back. Like you should feel rejuvenated when you come back and not feel like, oh gosh, I didn't have enough time. You know, I didn't I didn't enjoy myself as, as long as I wanted to. I think this means that we just need to do it more often. Start to focus on living instead of just constantly being in that life grind, you know? And it's hard right now. A lot of people are having a tough time, especially even being, a, being able to afford groceries. It's tough, like we're feeling it too. 
but at the same time it's like even though like times are kind of tough right now we still deserve to live and enjoy our time yeah you know, i want to do something again soon but i want to do it with cam and the kids plus you're at such a fun age yes you are <laughs> are you ready for your first vacation <laughs> yeah.